There's a lot of uh, single day mile parties happening uh, today. Can you help us out with some party planning tips? Well, I think my biggest tip is if you are throwing a party, you have to chillax, all right? You have to be a relaxed, happy host, or else you come off as like stressed out and freaked out, and then your guests have a terrible time. Every We've all been to that party yeah, where sure. the guest is like, I gotta get this appetizers <laughs> out. You know, and you're like, could you just calm down, please? So yeah. That's hard to do, though. I mean, if, <laughs> with your knowledge, it's easy to do, but for somebody like me, unless I'm, you know, making something I know how to make, that's right. tough, right? Well, you can do stuff ahead of time. I mean, that's what I always say. When you're having a party, make sure you get as much stuff done the day before so that you just have to sort of throw things together. And I like to have a cocktail to help me relax so I'm a happier host. That's <laughs> right. what I now, That's right. Now, speaking of cocktails, yeah. you're the resident bartender at the Chew. What drink do we have today? We are, we have a jalapeno grapefruit margarita. <laughs> So good. So what I did was I took some tequila, okay. put it in a jar with some sliced jalapeno overnight. Overnight, that's overnight, the key, right? Yes, you infuse that tequila with the jalapeno, and then I mix that with some grapefruit juice, some fresh lime juice, um, a little bit of simple syrup, and that jalapeno tequila, and then you do it in a nice uh, salted, this one's for you, this one's for me, salted glass on the rocks. By the way, I noticed as you were describing all of the different ingredients, my recently turned 21-year-old daughter has been inching her way <laughs> up. So look, I'm gonna let you do the honor. You're 21. You may have a sip. Come on, Georgia. There you go. Hello, Gordon. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to being of legal age. She's 21. Okay, get my breathalyzer. I got her on film. <laughs> mm. Now, That's to good. celebrate uh, Cinco de Mayo, what, what are we going to make today? We're going to make some grilled shrimp with a tomatillo <laughs> salsa. Ooh. Super easy. What so the heck is a tomatillo? Tom oh, let me show you, Harry. This is a tomatillo, my friend. Okay, what is it, though? It looks like a green tomato, but oh, it's actually oh. not even in the tomato family. It's actually related to the gooseberry, believe it or not. What, what is a gooseberry? Uh, it's, oh, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a berry laid by a goose, or right, so, I guess. Right. So, um, so you, you peel these off, and they're okay. a little bit, you peel off the husk. It's a little bit sticky, so you want to make sure that you wash them It is them sticky, off. yeah. yeah. Um, but they're delicious. If you can't find these in your local supermarket, because they're not everywhere, but they should, they're around these days, you can actually use green tomatoes okay. um, as a nice substitute for it. But a tomatillo is the original sort of uh, green salsa. Okay, they really are very sticky. They are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No, that's fine. I just Do you want to rag? Do no, 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 that's fine. All right, cool. All right, so I learned something today. Let's start off with our shrimp. We're going to do a very easy marinade. This is another thing that you could do the night before. We're going to take a few cloves of garlic and just give them a little bit of a smash. Okay. Like that, and obviously half of them go on the floor. That's not for the dog, because that's bad for the dog. Okay, and there we go. It's a few cloves of garlic in a bowl with some fresh oregano. Good stuff right there. Yeah. Nice big pinch of salt. All you guys cook the same. You you all you just throw it in and make it look so easy. I know. Let me tell Mario you. Mario does that too. I hate that. I get home and Jill's like, "What are you doing? What, don't you need to measure?" I said, "No, they don't measure." No, we don't measure anything over there. I and mean, then it, it doesn't taste as good. Except you know, the only time you really, really, really have to measure is when you're baking, because those measurements it's like science. But right. When you're with this kind of thing, you just sort of throw it all in there. And do it up high. You make a big, like, they make a big, the chefs, they make a big production out of yeah. it. They throw it around. Right. Like, like, <laughs> all, right. And then we, all right, so then this is what you could do overnight. You make this beautiful marinade, and then you could um, just put the shrimp in there. But today okay. we're going to brush the shrimp with the marinade. All right. All How right. long do you let, let the shrimp stay in the marinade? You could let them stay overnight. Overnight's okay. If there were acid in this, if you were putting any, like, uh, lemon, lemon juice and lime juice, then that would cook the shrimp. That, like so, a ceviche almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. So you don't want that. So, uh, but because there's no acid, you can let this go overnight. Okay. So we put these on the grill. Yum. Just like so. And do you want to start making the tomatillo yes. sauce? Yeah, what do me? I do? Okay. All right, so I've got these tomatillos here. Mm -hmm. All right, so that goes in there with some garlic. Okay. Some onion. Some More jalapenos? Yeah, how hot do you like it? I like the spicy. Okay, good. Let's put extra jalapeno in there. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, we'll do some lime Calling juice. my bluff on that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see just yeah. how spicy you like it. Orange juice, Yo. lime juice, once again. You, hey, you got the salt thing down, so, yep. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. I like that. And then, when it comes to cilantro, do you think you use the stems or not? Okay, I would say you do, but I'm not a cilantro guy. So if oh. you don't like cilantro, do you put it on? Can you put it on after? You should put it in. Oh. Should I learn to like it? You, I think you should learn to like it. Really? Yeah. yeah put it, put you it. know, I used to hate it, but now I really like it. <laughs> so uh, you leave you leave the stems. You leave on? the stems. There's a ton of flavor in the stems. Yeah. One mm. time somebody told me that putting mint in a big jug of water is good because it makes the mint taste better. I went to the store and I bought like a pound of mint and I put it in there. I said this water tastes horrible. It was cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like mint. it looks like mint, though, right? <laughs> We're going to pulse this all together. Come on, cilantro, get in there. Now, Georgia, are you paying attention? Because Georgia's just learning how to cook, and this is not hard, I don't think. No, this is pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. 
We're gonna get this coming all together like so. Okay. See, I told you, like cilantro, it doesn't it, even want to be part of the party. It does not want to be part of the. We can take get it out, out of here. You put it, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now we're in. The, we're in for some good. There we go. Yum. Do you want to taste that by yes. itself? Yes, I, I do. think that you might actually like this. No, I, I think I, I think I will. Oh my gosh, it's, it's like a salsa, but. Yeah, but like a tangy, bright salsa, right? That is so good. So hot. Is it so hot? <laughs> oh no. If I killed Harry, I feel terrible. Let me tell you, is it really bad? That's hot, man. Holy <laughs> cow. It's really hot. It's unbelievably hot. That's like, that's like surface of the sun hot. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. I've yeah. got a little pep in my step from <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. And so then, wow. Man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's All very right, that good. That actually is really good. Very good. And then we take our grilled shrimp. Oh, look at this. And then you just dip it in the sauce. Yum, yum, yum.